Where's the innovation? And a female Drake? Mr. Do Right at y'all one more again. And I'd like to thank you for joining us on today's show. The topic is. And I would also like to thank everyone that checked us out this past week and hope to continue seeing you here. So today's topic, innovation. What is innovation? The business definition to innovation is to renew, change, or create more effective processes, products, and ways of doing things. That's cool. You got something, you improve on it, it's innovative. However, I don't believe in that. Where's the innovation like we had in the 80s and 90s? I mean, think back into the 80s. Think of all the new products that came out that we never seen before. We got the VCR, we got the cellular phone, we got the CD player, we got the Walkman. I mean, we got so many new products that we never had before. It felt like a whole new world and we wanted to go out and get these things. Fast forward to the 90s, it didn't create a whole lot more things, but they really improved on the things that we already had, like the portable CD player, the VCR, which turned into the DVD player, things like that. And I thought that was a great time, you know, seeing these things come up, but you know, satellite TV came out in the 90s, boy, that was awesome too. The problem is, here it is in 2014, and the only thing we're getting is bigger TVs, Ultra HD TVs. Can you tell the difference between HD and Ultra HD? So here's my argument. I can have an old CRT TV and I can have a HD 1080i flat screen TV and say they both play in house. Now granted that 1080i TV is going to look clearer and sharper, you're still getting the same information. Whether you read a book in your hand or you read that same book on a tablet, it's still the same information. How is that innovation? Oh, we can make it faster, you know, bigger processors. That's fine. I mean, we're progressing, we're growing. Yeah, I had a discussion with somebody this week about cell phones. Like, well, yeah, this smartphone is a computer. I'm like, that's true. It is a computer you can put in your pocket. However, it's still a phone, a computer that was put on a phone. Is there some kind of new technology for communication coming out? I like Bluetooth. Bluetooth I thought was a good innovation because they took the cord off your earpiece. That's progression. But if you have a Bluetooth earpiece and then you say I'm going to innovate it by making it clearer, that's not innovation. Well, at least in my eyes. Everybody's going to say I'm wrong. I hear it all the time when you don't know what you're talking about. But I think that everybody has settled for the status quo. They only see the dots that they already see. They don't see the, the dots past the dots that's already in front of their face. Nor do I think they see the dots that were there previously. So, man, that's my view on it. And that's my say on today's topic. So, new segment I'm gonna add is the video of the week. And boy, I had a tough time trying to pick the video of the week. I narrowed it down to one, finally. Ooh. And all I did was went on to Facebook and looked at my friends news feeds and looked at all the videos that people were posting and sharing and I narrowed it down to this one and it's of this young man walking his mother down the aisle it's nice to see that family love and I know how sons are with their mothers and to see this it was really nice but the way he walked her down the aisle I thought was really special and I wanted to share that with everyone for two reasons first reason is really nice is heartwarming and things like that but the other thing is, you know, I look at a lot of videos on YouTube and I hate to say this, but the black community doesn't see itself in a, a good light all the time. I mean, I ain't got nothing against guys sagging their pants and stuff. I, I think it's crazy, but I mean, I ain't got nothing against it. That's their style. So, you know, you do what you want to do. Every time you see some kind of video or something with black people in it, they either fighting, arguing, things like that. And, and you know, it seems like that's the only focus and that's the only thing people want to see. And it's like, yeah, I told you that's that's just how they are. But that's not how we are, you know? There's more to us than just, you know, our attitudes and things like that. So I want to start showing some positive sides of the black community and focus on that for a change. Yeah, occasionally I might have a, a fight video on here. And it's not because I'm trying to boost up my views or things like that. You know, it's a reason why I want to put it on here to show it to you because I think it's important to see certain things. So 
Here's a video for your viewing pleasure. A second segment that I want to add to the show is the spotlight. Today's spotlight is of my friend Sharante Reed as she covers Drake's song, The Farthest Thing.
you think. Tell her what you think. Visit her page on YouTube. I'll have a link down below. Thank you for joining us on today's show. The topic is, and once again, I appreciate you coming by, checking us out. Thanks for all the views that I got last week. And hopefully we'll match that or even get even more views this week. I want to continue making a better and better show. And it's not just for me, it's also for you. So let me know what you want to see. <laughs> I got the comment about doing NFL picks. Unfortunately, I'm not that much into football. So you probably would have got the wrong picks for me anyway. There's a million videos that you could be watching and you chose to view this one and I appreciate you. Like our video and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page at Do Right Productions. See you soon.